Hello, I'm Lynn Bondran, and welcome to the final episode of our Moonwalk series. We have already seen how the Apollo 11 crew prepared itself for the grueling trip to the moon. The largest TV audience until that time watched this extraordinary event. People of all nations react in awe as Neil Armstrong places his foot on a surface previously untouched by a human being. In this program, we see research done by scientists after the Apollo 11 capsule returns to Earth. Studies are conducted on samples of the moon's soil in order to compare them with Earth's soil. This television program is The Moon on Earth. Alone, 45 miles above the moon's surface, Michael Collins completed an orbit every two hours. He listened to the progress of the moonwalk and awaited the moment when his companions on the surface would lift off to rendezvous with him. For 30 times he saw the earth rise over the horizon of the moon. 12,000 miles of twilight a line that divides night from day for three billion people on spaceship Earth. It is good to see the whole Earth, to see the Earth whole. Eagle had left the moon and returned to Columbia. Within this strange ship, two astronauts and a treasure. Triple sealed vacuum boxes of rocks and soil from the surface of the moon. Locked within these rocks were secrets of the ages to be studied and deciphered by the scientists of Earth. The age of the moon, the age of the sun, 
how the moon was formed. How life began. Was there ever life on the moon? Was the moon once molten and volcanic, or has it always been cold and dead? Was it once part of the Earth? Or was it a wandering planet captured by the Earth eons ago? How hot was the sun three billion years ago? Armstrong and Aldrin, with their precious load of moon rocks, had transferred to Columbia. The faithful eagle, its task completed, could be cut adrift. Columbia fired out of lunar orbit to begin its three-day fall back to Earth, where the recovery fleet was waiting for its splashdown in the Pacific. of the United States was aboard. Re-entry into the Earth's invisible atmosphere carries with it one of the most critical moments. Traveling nearly 25,000 miles per hour, the command module can miss the angle of re-entry by only several degrees and disintegrate into flames or bounce off into space, never to return. Velocity 33,000 feet per second. 35,000 feet per second now. 36,000 feet per second. We're at entry time. There's blackout.
11, Apollo 11. This is Hornet. Hornet, over. Apollo 1, this is Apollo 11. Read your last clear. Our position 1330, 6915. 11, Hornet, copy. 1330, Any further data, over. 
so long, mother, so long, mother, so long, mother, earth. Goodbye, mother, goodbye, mother, treasure of the ages, stones from across the night, unrubbed by wind, unwashed by rain. scattered on tranquility. Bombarded by solar particles for billions of years, but unchanged in any other way, a moon rock is like a diary of the sun, an eye unblinking since time began, that stared across the sea of space, that watched the blue planet when life began. Remembered in these rocks are ancient sunspots, solar flares, solar storms whose fiery arms reached out a million miles. By making ourselves very small, like Alice, perhaps we will see what these rocks have seen and remember back those billions of years to decipher the life of the sun.
locked within our sun are answers to mysteries that have confounded man since time began. We have reached out with our telescopes. We have reached in with our microscopes. Seeking. What is the source of life? What combination of energies and elements brought it into existence? What is the relationship between the non-living and living things? How delicate is the balance? Man slowly begins to realize how fragile is his bubble of life. Ours is one sun in a sea of suns more plentiful than all the grains of sand on all the shores of all the seas of planet Earth. Now that we are free to wander from Earth, perhaps we will find the answers to our questions. Someday we may know where we've come from, where we're going. We may know where is the end, where is the beginning. lack of life causes human beings to step back and ask, what makes Earth so different from other planets and satellites in the solar system? The Apollo 11 flight makes us realize that life's existence depends upon the resources of this planet. Much more is to be learned about the moon's harsh environment from following Apollo missions. The last flight will take place in December of 1972. Someday human beings will once again return to the moon, that time perhaps to establish a more permanent settlement. I'm Lynn Bondurant.